should developers learn design? Well, no, you don't need to learn design. But here are some thoughts on why it can help you. First of all, your product needs to be good looking so that people uh, would enjoy using it. Otherwise, it will feel like, well, not so good. And no, I don't think you need to put on the CV that you are a designer. For me and a lot of people I talk with, being a designer and a programmer is sort of like two separate activities. It's two separate disciplines. You are solving two different problems. Also, some suggest that uh, one half of the brain is used for, for logical thinking, another for design. But even though if, when you're programming, you're using your entire brain because you're sol solving some uh, creative task or creative problems. Otherwise, you would be just using half of your brain and that's not how the brain works. But when you are working in a team, you need to understand why your product needs a good design. You need to understand one what your users appreciate when using your products and uh, its functionalities, but main mainly its design. And your designer represents your users. It represent he represents what the users are expecting from the website. And you want your users and your designer to have a good experience when using your product. So you need to sort of think like a user all the time. You need to understand some basics of the design of user experience. Some fundamentals should be there. You should know what is a good user experience so that you, you, know, you can make a good functionality for it. It also makes cooperation with your team members or with your designer a lot easier. I personally stop at the HTML as my code makes HTML, but the CSS and the layout, the UI, user experience, and all those things, I leave that to the designer. As a matter of fact, majority of designers I work with are very proficient with HTML and CSS, and uh, even with JavaScript. But I think that I can at least discuss with them and uh, make uh, suggestions on making a design more user-friendly, and even come up with some constructive suggestions, something that uh, might be a better alternative, an easier alternative. This is very important when you talk with pretty much all of your colleagues, but especially with your designer. You, you should try to have a suggestion that is a constructive, that is a professional. You're trying to improve instead of just critique and just saying that something is not good enough because everybody has an opinion today. You don't need to make designer's job more difficult than it is. It's already very difficult to please everybody, all the clients and all the people involved. If you think about it, you as a developer, your job will be much easier if your designer knows what you're doing, what are some limitations and what are some things that must be on place for your functionality. It, the same is, goes for the designer. If you understand some basics of the design, you will make his job much easier and he will love you for that. Only clients will love you for that and you will probably reduce the cost of the project and then, then everybody benefits from it. This is why you need to know what looks nice and basically why it looks nice. Some basic principles like composition, balance, contrast, how to put a focus on some elements, arrangement of elements on page, etc. so that they are looking more pleasing. Something you can do even things on your own when you or come with suggestions that will help your designer and your team. If your designer wants to put some buttons somewhere on a page, for example, and you know why is he doing that, then maybe you can come up with a better alternative or maybe you can remove the button at all, automating some functionality and thus making everyone's job easier and clients will love you for that and perhaps they will even pay you more for that. And also it doesn't hurt in your everyday life when you're making, for example, documentation or even sending emails. You don't need to uh, make it any award winning, but understanding the structure, the balancing of the text or the overall layout. If you, you cannot make one, at least think about it and uh, get some template from the internet for documentation or for PowerPoint. But I think it's important about just everything in general life, not just in code. Even your email will benefit if you format it uh, so that it's more eye-pleasing and easier to read. Your workspace, your editor, even or mobile desktop, I don't know, life in general. And since we are talking about the design, we are here in Oslo, in the capital of Norway, in the Gustav Vigelands Park, which is his uh, life work with some beautiful sculptures, motives. Enjoying the beautiful day in Norway. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos of Norway while we discuss programming. So as mentioned, design and development go hand in hand. If you look at some fast car, for example, the design makes more than half of it, like it or not. We engineers stand behind our products as we made them work and are proud of that. And we like to say that without us, there is no product and there isn't. We know that, but it also needs to look nice so that people enjoy using it. The car needs to, to look sexy for people to buy them. You need to understand the designer's perspective as your designer usually represents your user. And we make some functionality, we are very focused on how to solve it programmatically. But if you think more for a user's perspective, we might solve it even easier. If you think about it, your product is not much without your users and they need to have a good experience. They need to 
like your product. And here I'm more focused on the corporate career, companies and things like that. But if you want to be an entrepreneur, for example, then knowing some design will save you a bunch of time and money. You can make a product or parts of the product yourself to a certain level. You can make an email confirmation or PDF much, much easier, much more pleasing, thus saving money. And even if, when you delegate your task by hiring people around you, you can get much more feedback on what are they doing. And as you progress in your career, and if you, even if you work in a corporate ladder, and one day you will be a lead developer and uh, you will make some prototypes of some projects and just a proof of concept for the company owners or the clients before anybody on the team even starts to code on it. And if that prototype looks good, trust me, they will love working with you. And if people like working with you, it opens so much possibilities. And at the end, if you think about it, we expect applications and web pages or a car to just work. Nobody actually cares how engineers achieve that. It is always expected to just work and perform well. But for people to buy it, to invest in it, it better looks good. Some cars drive like crap, but, but they're beautiful and people pay good money for, to own them. Maybe just have them in the garage because they just enjoy looking at them. For example, watches, there's a lot of people collecting watches and they just like looking at them, even though they can easily tell the time in a different way, even though the watch has a Swiss de design and technology inside of it. We like to look at things. And if it looks bad, people automatically assume that it also works bad. And that's just the rea reality of life. If a project is success, everybody will notice it. And, it's, and if it's easy and uh, intuitive to use and the design will be discussed and praised, the project will success, succeed as well. Rarely are you going to be a rock star for making something work. It is just expected. But still, you want to be on the winning team. You want your project to succeed, even if it's only the design and not so much functionality. And even if that means that you're hiding in a shadow of good designer, you and I know who made it, but it, it needs to look good. And you should know why it looks good. Here is a joke for you. <laughs>